Okay, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. It is me, the Millennial Investor, 1914. We're going, we, this is like my fifth go round. We're going to try this again. Today's video, we're going to talk about, here's the title. Are you close to becoming a millionaire? Are you, are you on track? Do you feel like you're on track to becoming a millionaire? And uh, are you, how close are you to retiring? In this video, I'm going to, in below, uh, the video and the, the subject box. I'm going to include some of these links for you guys just so to help because it has helped me and hopefully has helped you. But as you guys know, I deliver content to, to help you guys to learn quality content, no, no fluff. And we're going to get right into it. The graph that you, that you see right here is uh, compound and compound interest. I, I love the rule of 72 compound and in any everyday person, the, the mind is basically, how can I create a business to make money, uh, dividends? How, how, how can I create cash flow? How can I live off my investment? Because some people love to, to work. Some people love to love doing what they're doing. And a lot of people, they don't, <laughs> they don't want to continue working. And right here, when you look at this graph, it says it takes seven years to hit a hundred thousand, but once you have 500,000, it takes two years to grow 500,000 to 600,000. The parameters of this is this. If you were to invest $10,000 per year and receive an annualized return of 10%, Cordero Hudson, where do I receive or how, what, what can I invest into? Uh, what investment instrument can I invest into to re get 10%? Hmm. You know what? I got you. It is the S&P 500. And a lot of videos that you may that you may see that you're going to see uh, invest into VU or uh, any type of derivative of an in index that gives you the the uh, the insight in into investing to the S&P 500. That's the best way to receive this 10 percent, either VU or the total stock market. But the point of, of this graph is to show you is that a lot of times we think that uh invest in, in, and make a lot of money and, and to be able to retire it's impossible but it's not it, it's just it takes consistency and it just takes just re repetitiveness and right here it takes seven years to hit 100k once you invest uh, ten thousand per year but then once you hit 300k then that's where the magic happens because that is that's ha the halfway mark com uh to a million dollars cadero has 300k the halfway mark to 100 100 000. i mean not nah. Not hundred thousand. Kadera, how's three hundred k the halfway mark to one million dollars? I'm glad you got uh, asked, general public. What you see right here is this, this is a graph, and I, I love this graph. And it says right here, we're gonna go right into it, no smoke, because I don't like the fluff. If we were to assume a seven percent annual rate of return, and we're gonna take uh, live examples of P uh, of a person that invested five thousand dollars per year. $10,000 per year, $20,000 per year, and 30 k In this graph, you are assuming a 7% average uh, rate of return. Now, in the last graph, it's, it was 10%. Well, usually, when you see people use 7%, they are uh, being uh, conservatively. Right here, uh, if you took to invest $5,000 per year, it would, it would take you 12.37 years to hit uh, your first hundred thousand, and that is uh, thirty one uh, thirty one percent the way to a million dollars. If you invest ten thousand dollars per year, it will take you a little a little half that to hit your first hundred k, and you'll be twenty four percent. You you are twenty four percent uh the way to a million dollars, and if you are a super investor uh people who are investing 20 uh, 20,000 and, and 30,000 dollars per year you'll hit your first 100k within uh 20 20k per year uh, within 4 years 30,000 uh within 2.92 years we can just round it to 3 right but now right here once you hit 300,000 it shows you right right here that by uh, investing five thousand, it's, it, it's going to take you at least twenty three years to hit uh, three hundred thousand, which sucks. But right here, when you hit, when you finally hit the three hundred thousand, you look at the right here, sixty percent of the way to a million, fifty three percent 
47, uh, 43, 51. So right here, it ta- it's, it's uh, an average of, it takes a person an average of 14 years to hit 300,000 by the saving money. And when you hit 300,000, you are 51% away to $1 million. Typically right here, a lot, a lot of people, uh, they, they, they uh, don't have a super high paying job. And what they do is that they, that's why you see a lot of numbers go, go with investing and saving 10 K per year. And if you save in 10 K per year with a 7% annual return, when you hit, Three hundred thousand in sixteen years, you are fifty percent away to to a million dollars. Then, right here, uh, literally uh, in four years later, you will hit five hundred thousand. And at five hundred thousand, you you think that five hundred thousand divided by a million, you're fifty percent away. No, when you hit when your portfolio balance hits five hundred thousand, you are seventy one percent away. So that's why a lot of times when you hit three hundred three hundred thousand. You are you. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of people they can coast, meaning that they don't have to uh, put as much money into their portfolio because the returns that their portfolio is producing is more than what they put into their portfolio. So that's how uh, three hundred thousand is halfway to a million dollars. I wanted to I wanted to go over my portfolio real quick and, and, and show that hey, uh, I, I hit the the hundred k mark, but when I go over my portfolio, I really don't go over the whole thing. I, t- I typically use my numbers off of my dividend portfolio because this is what I want to live off of, and this is what I want to use to retire early. So we're going to use the number $61,609. Here is a, a FIRE calculator, a financial independent retire early calculator, and this is how you can see if you are on track or not, and hence my first question of my video is uh are you on track to becoming a millionaire and are you on track to retire early with with this here we're going to go through the, the parameters real quick and this will this this calculator shows you uh if you are on track or not and it's it's, it's the real life truth and, and it, the, the truth may hurt but it helps you to open your eyes especially your third eye help you open your eyes to the possibility that if you're not what you need to do. So for, for me, for example, let's just say current annual income and the current annual income is after taxes. So not your gross, your after taxes. So for me, let's just put 90,000. We're going to put 90,000. And then we're going to put my, uh, my current, my current uh, annual sales rate is about 20%. Uh, the portfolio balance was six, 61,000. Uh, let's say it was 61,809. Uh, now, usually when, now, usually when people do their calculation, they, they typically do the, the 10%, like, because, you know, they, they do like the, the rate of return of the S and P 500. And usually it's, cons- they do, they're conservative. The reason why I'm not conservative is because, I I invest into the S P five hundred and gr- and growth e- ETFs and index funds in my Roth IRA, but outside of my Roth IRA in my taxable account, I go balls to the wall. Now I have dividend uh, paying uh, stocks, and usually dividend paying stocks are less volatile and compared to growth stocks. But a lot of my stocks they have huge growth aspect. For example, Apple, Microsoft. I have Google, Google in my, my dividend growth portfolio, I have uh, Broadcom. Broadcom just did like 50% growth this year. I have uh, Applied Materials, which is a semiconductor company. I have uh, uh, TSM, TSM, which is, uh, I forgot, it's a semiconductor company, Ty- Taiwan Semiconductor. I have, I have, my portfolio actually is 47, 49% tech. And my portfolio, it's hinges on growth. And so my portfolio is, is really not a, let's say, a low beta portfolio. It's, it's when the market goes up, my portfolio is really like a growth portfolio that pays dividends. So that's why I'm my portfolio would not produce a 7%, 8% rate of return. And even right now, the SP 500 is, is, is up roughly right 
15 16 percent right now year to date for off based off of my numbers it, sh- it shows that you can retire for me Kadero, you can retire in 17 years and all actuality that's what i actually plan on doing <laughs> that's what i plan on doing i actually plan on and this is this is going off of a you know it says a withdrawal rate of uh, 4%. With my uh, dividend growth portfolio, I'm not going to have to, re- the great thing about it is that I'm not going to have to withdraw any money from this pro- portfolio because it's going to be paying me dividends. And so, at 59 and a half, when my growth portfolio in my IRA and in my, uh, what else, in my growth rate, when that, when that grows, that's just extra money in the pot for me to live off of. And it's, this shows you real quick how my net worth grow. Uh, and this is just for my dividend growth portfolio. How my net worth grow and how and how your net worth begins to just grows and, and just supersedes your expenses. And so I'm I'm gonna put this calculator uh this retire early retirement calculator below so you can you guys can manipulate the numbers. And what's really 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 exciting about this is that uh it shows right here that since I have a, I have a savings rate of, of, of 22%, it shows you what what is the typical savings rate for certain countries. So uh, you, you, UK has a savings rate of 2%. United States have a savings rate 6%. Germany, uh, 12%. France, 16%. China has a savings rate. Their people have a savings rate of 28%, meaning that 28% of their gross they're saving for retirement. That's, that's nuts. India has has a savings rate of thirty two percent. Typically, they say uh, for Americans to to stay within uh, fifteen to twenty percent. What I've been doing is that I, since I want to retire early, I, I, want, I want to travel and I want to just live my life, and I, I don't want to be confined to uh, just work. I want I want that's why I've been ramping it up, and even with this twenty two percent, this twenty per, this twenty two percent is it correlates with not only just my dividend growth portfolio, but me, but me investing five hundred dollars into my Roth IRA every month, and then also money coming out of my account going to my four hundred one k, and then and also I've been uh, cutting back on as much of the the, tri- the tri- annual trips. I went to one trip this year to Brazil, and I was normally going on like three trips per year, but now I'm just only just doing one big trip, and the rest I'm just add to my house to add more value to my house and really focus on adding to myself skills and really just increasing and beefing up my savings rate from saving, you know, $20,000 per year, $25,000 per year, uh, adding 15,000 to my dividend growth portfolio, $5,000 into my Roth IRA. And then, uh, adding another 5,000, or so dollars into my 401k just just to grow so this is right here again ask yourself are you on track to be a millionaire and are you on track to retire early and if you're not then create a budget figure out ways and and why you're not getting there use this calculator to manipulate uh your, your portfolio value and everything and yeah, and that's how you are able to figure out if you are on track to become a millionaire, and if not, what you need to do to save, because your your savings rate is what's important. How much you're saving, and the, cl- the closer you get to 25%, 30% savings rate, it sucks, but it, it but it shows that you're disciplined. It shows that you really don't care about the materialistic things right now, and it shows that you, you are willing to take the sacrifice to make more money. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Remember 300,000 is is the halfway mark to a million dollars. And the best time to start, if it wasn't yesterday, is today. And make more money, side businesses, uh, side hustles, um, a a partner, an extra partner, a spouse, a girlfriend, if, if, if that helps. Everything helps towards the goal of financial independence and generational wealth so if you guys enjoyed this video of this when can i retire okay and for me 
I'm going I'm going to retire actually in 15 years. My goal is to, is to retire in 15 years at 50 so that I'm going to be I'm going to be out the United States. I'm going to be in the Philippines. I'm going to be in Bali. I'm going to be traveling to South Korea and whatnot. And I'm, I'm going to have a portfolio that's going to be paying me dividend income, but also actually growing compared to just having a million dollar portfolio, but having to sell. All right. That's the video.